non pool t test this test is also used used for comparison of uh, two population means as the pool t test did non pool t test have a one specific assumption and that specific assumption is population standard deviations are not same for the two groups so sigma 1 is not equal to sigma 2 if the two standard deviations are not same then non pool t test will be used other other uh, assumptions are same as of pool t test simple random sample independent sample normal populations or large sample any one of these two conditions fulfill the fourth assumption is the two standard deviation of population which are unknown are not equal the null hypothesis is same mean one is equal to mean two is our objective and in alternate we have three options the two means are not equal or mean one is less than mean two the left tail test or the mean one is greater than mean two the right tail test and then alpha which is the level of significance in step two in step number three we have a formula of pool t test this formula is exactly same as the formula of z statistics instead it has a sample variances in denominator as compared to the population standard deviation or the population variances so this is exactly the same formula as we have from z test mu1 minus mean2 is not here the reason is the null hypothesis is the difference of two mean is zero so this will be zero then the reduced formula is here Uh, these are the two approaches critical region approach is same as the major thing here is the formula of the degrees of freedom the formula of degrees of freedom is here and we have formula is a long formula we have s1 square upon n1 plus s2 square upon n2 and a whole square of this and then we have uh, s1 square upon n1 whole square upon the degree of freedom 1 s2 square upon n2 whole square divided by the degree of freedom 2 this is a large formula in formula sheet you can see this formula this is represented by delta in the formula sheet the critical value by two tail test the critical value by left tail test the critical value by right tail test in in contrast to the critical region approach in the p value approach degree of freedom formula is same you have to calculate the formula degree of freedom and then take the value of the t statistics into the t table and get a probability which is named as a p value approach if uh, h not is rejected if uh, p value is less than alpha this is a one of the very important statement which we generally use for conclusion and decision in p value approach finally you have to take a decision this is the t score this is the degree of freedom remember these two formulas are significant and these two formulas are available in the formula sheet uh, this will be zero if the mean one and mean two in h not are equal if h not is mean 1 minus mean 2 is equal to 0 or mean 1 is equal to mean 2 mean 1 minus mean 2 is equal to 0 then we have a reduced formula and that reduced formula is what this will not be in the formula if we have a h not like this suppose the difference of two means is stated in the problem or in in the statement the difference of two mean is uh, mean one minus mean two is equal to 10. Suppose we are saying that the marks obtained by the boys in the class is 10 points more than the marks, average marks obtained by the girls in the class. So this 10 point will be the difference and we have to substitute this difference here. Now one example I am going to consider here. This is example number 10.6. Uh, 
uh, this example contains the two types of uh, operative uh, procedures dynamic system operations by the dynamic system and operations by the static system the static system is the old system and researchers develop a new system which is a dynamic system uh, this this research was done at the arizona state university at 5% of level of significance we have to test the hypothesis that the operative time is less with the dynamic system than the static system it means the dynamic system take smaller average time as compared to the static system this is the alternate hypothesis this is uh, summary statistics uh, or descriptive measures the sample mean and the sample standard deviation from sample one are computed and the static system sample mean two and standard deviation two are computed here we can clearly see that s1 upon s2 s1 upon s2 is greater than 2 because it is 84 and it is 38 so if this ratio is greater than 2 we have a perception that the population standard deviations are assumed to be unequal if population standard deviations are assumed to be unequal we have a non pool t test instead of pool t test so this is this called a non formal informal procedure for testing the hypothesis of the equality of two standard deviations this can also be checked by constructing the box plot for these two data sets this is the normality plot for the dynamic system this is the normality plot for the static system they are approximately assumed as linear because most of the observations are on the linear line except only the few so we can take the perception that the data is normally distributed here we can also take the perception that the data is normally distributed so the assumption of random sample the assumption of independent sample because these two types of procedures are uh, conducted independently in the different hospitals therefore independent sample normal population random sample three assumptions are fulfilled the fourth assumption is standard deviations are unequal by informal procedure we stated that the population standard deviations are unequal which are unknown another way to to check the standard deviation in population the standard deviation can be checked by box plot box plot is saying what box plot is indicating that it is very small in width this box this box is very large in width so we can say that clearly the two population standard deviations are unequal so we can we can apply the non pole t test here the null hypothesis is the mean one and mean two are equal the operative average time in dynamic system is same as the average operating time in the static system and it is the researcher claim that the average operating time in the uh, dynamic system is smaller than the average time in the static system this is stated in the alternate hypothesis uh, left tail test is to be used t score is computed and the value of t score uh, is minus 2.681 this is the sample standard deviation and a whole square of that and this sample size one this is a variance of sample two divided by the degree of freedom two not degree of freedom to sample size two and this is the difference between the two sample means the difference of two population means is zero it is not used in the formula because we have to compare that the two operating times are equal in the null hypothesis this will be zero this t value is to be looked up into the t table to get the p value or you can have alpha 5% level of significance to get a critical value so the two approaches are here the degree of freedom is computed the degree of freedom is 17 by this large formula and the value of the t score is minus 1.7 the value of uh, 
critical point is minus 1.7 and it is minus 2.6. So minus 2.6 is clearly below the minus 1.7 to reject the null hypothesis. Data provides sufficient evidence in favor of H1. The researcher claim is valid. The p-value approach, the number minus 2.681, with the degrees of freedom 17 is look up into the t table and the probability is obtained the approximate probability is 0 0.005 to 0 0.01 by software this probability is 0 0.00768 so this probability is clearly smaller than the alpha we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that average operating time by dynamic system is significantly smaller than the average operating time in the static system the researchers claim is valid the hypothesis is rejected and the conclusion is stated 